Welcome to the PT Cloud Online PT Business Mentoring Program. Over the next six weeks, we'll provide you with advice, help, and support for you to start and grow your own online PT business. Each week will include a series of coaching videos on how to become a successful online PT and how to run a successful online business. We will also include an online PT business blueprint to help you implement each week the building blocks required to start an online business and how to find online clients and how to best train clients online. So what will this coaching video cover? First, what the aim of this business mentoring program is and why we are providing it. Understanding why most people will benefit from online first training. How to deliver what most people want and looking at the new approach needed for online person training to, to work. So what is our aim? Our aim is to provide a tool for PTs that allows them to be more accessible to more of the marketplace and create another income stream that isn't limited by time or location. At the moment, personal training businesses turn away 95% of the marketplace due to them not wanting how we provide our expertise. The standard PT business model is based on people having to give up an hour of their time and paying an hourly rate so they can receive the help, advice and support to achieve their health and fitness goals. For the last 20 years, the average uptake of this type of service by the public is around 5% of gym users, therefore 1%, less than 1% of the, of the population. And around 80% of PT businesses go out of business inside 12 months. So what has to happen? Our approach as trainers has to change. As only 5% of members of gym members will pay for PT sessions, we need to find out what the other 95% want. Most PTs are in agreement that we can help more people, but blame the public for not being motivated enough or take the goal serious enough to afford a PT. Instead of the PT deciding how their expertise is delivered and how much they will cost, we have to give people the choice in how they receive the necessary expertise and what they are willing to pay. This will allow us as PTs to be able to influence a high percentage of the marketplace who would benefit from our expertise. The best use of your skills and expertise will always be face-to-face -face interaction, but for the majority of people who don't want to give the time or pay the money for that service, this approach will always be met by, I can't afford it. What people are really saying is, that's not what I want. So what is it they want? Findings of a health and fitness omnibus survey found that customers want the following. Achieve results quickly and build motivation. And receive regular supervision and personal contact to overcome challenges and keep them on track. The majority of the public lack basic health and fitness knowledge and would benefit learning from us. They would even be willing to pay for it if they value it enough. People can always afford things they place high value on. For example, most people spend more on things that decrease their health than improve it. It is only when we empower people to see the value in, their, in improving their health will they start investing time, effort and money into it. Giving people the option to invest the amount of time, effort and money they want at one particular time will increase the chance of investing more time and effort and money later. Give them what they want. Advice focused on their core wants, i.e. weight loss. Complete programs, which include exercise, nutrition, behavior change a range of support and regular communication to keep people on the path to success that suits a variety of budgets. For too long, PTs have been offering what they think people need and not offering what people want, which in most cases is very different from what we think they need. Offering what people want will allow you the opportunity to influence them towards what they need and stay on the correct path longer. If someone, for example, wants weight loss, that initially fits in with their perception of what it will take to lose weight. If we start promoting something different that is in conflict, conflict with that, what they want, they're more likely to go off looking for something more in tune with what they want than to fit in with your belief of what they need. We know for years of research that someone wanting to lose weight wants something that involves exercise they can do and nutrition changes they can manage, alongside the support needed to maintain these changes. We know this is behaviour change. They also want to be communicated in a way that encourages them and keeps them focused on, on achieving their goals.
As discussed earlier, the traditional PT approach requires clients to spend time training face-to-face -face with the PT and pay an hourly rate. This is without doubt the most effective way for the client to achieve their health and fitness goals. But if this is not what the majority of people want initially, then the PT will not get them as a paying client. So a new approach that allows the PT to deliver their knowledge, help and support in a time-saving and cost-effective manner will increase the number of people paying for the service. This new approach is called health and fitness coaching. And the main difference between training and coaching is coaching is designed to empower someone to take personal responsibility for their actions, when training requires someone else taking responsibility, i.e. the trainer. So the question to most PTs is, if you can only get people to achieve their goals by being with them every time they train, how big will your client base be? In this type of PT business model, the time you can give is the limiting factor, therefore limiting the growth and income of the business. Health and fitness coaching allows PTs to help more people in a shorter space of time and is not location restricted. The question now is, how do I coach someone instead of training them? In an industry that focuses on training clients, how do PTs deliver a coaching approach? The focus needs to be on delivering a service that increases the awareness of the importance that taking personal responsibility for your health and fitness will deliver the best long-term results. The approach has to offer the solutions to the challenges that people will encounter when it comes to the change, changes required to achieve their goals. It then needs to support them through the process of change. The support has to be delivered in the most effective way for the individual through regular contact and communication. This in turn will then increase the person's awareness and help them review their current situation, leading to solutions to overcome the challenges. To be able to deliver a successful health and fitness coaching approach, a PT requires the right product that satisfies what the market wants. PTs have a habit of delivering information that is very complicated and too in-depth for the average person. This might be due to the PTs not understanding that they are not the norm and how they go about living a healthy life is very different from everyone else, which is the norm. The right approach needs to be easy to understand by the market you serve and simple to follow. What might seem very simple and basic by a PT standard can be very complicated and hard to understand by the average person. The right approach also has to provide a journey that people feel they can follow and complete and shows them that they are progressing down the right road. If someone feels they are not moving forward or going in the, right in the wrong direction, they will give up and try something else. The next coaching video this week will look at what is needed to become an online health and fitness coach. Thank you.